Hi guys, my name is Aaron Graham. I am the Share Faith Kids graphic designer. I create all the activities and whatnot, and I am here to show you how to edit uh, the scriptures from the PDFs uh, that are included with all the activities. A lot of you uh, have asked, hey, Share Faith Kids, are there King James uh, scriptures included with uh, these activities? And unfortunately, at this time, no, um, all the scriptures are actually from the ESV. However, I am going to show you a quick way to take our activities and change out scriptures to whichever Bible preference that you prefer. Stay with me and I'm going to walk you through this. So here are the activities that we have. This is our latest one. Um, it's a coloring page for the man born blind. And as you can see, I have the uh, scripture up here highlighted. And the program that I'm using right now is uh, from the Adobe Creative Cloud called Acrobat Pro DC. Um, now, unfortunately, this is not a free program. Um, this program, if you were to buy it, it can cost you uh, $15 a month, um, or you can get all the apps for $52.99 a month. Um, now, some churches out there may already have this, and if you do, that's great. If not, you have an option. You could purchase it, or after I show you how to edit an Acrobat, I'm going to show you a free program. Once again, here are here is the uh, coloring page from the Man Born Blind. Um, now, again, here's our scripture here. Now, over on the uh, right hand side, we have a button that says Edit PDF. So when we click that, you can see that our text. Is now editable. So again, we're we are currently using the ESV version of the Bible. So a website I like to use to find other uh, Bible scriptures or to see other Bible references is BibleGateway.com. Anyway, so here we go. Uh, right now we have up uh, we have our scripture typed in, and we have the Bible uh, King James version. Now, when I click this down arrow, you can see. There is over a hundred uh, different Bibles that you can choose from. Um, so you know you can do the King James version. You can do the New King James version. You could do the uh, gosh, all right, the New Living Translation if you want. But right now we're just going to focus on the King James version. King James version. We're going to search for it, and here it is. Here is the King James version of that scripture. I just copy it. I go back into Acrobat and just paste it. Now, your activity is a King James Version activity. Now you just go to save it, you go to file, save as, save it at whatever you want to be named at. See King James Version. We're going to save it on our desktop and boom, there we go. So now we have a brand new King James Version uh, activity coloring page. So, you know, we can even label it King James Version. King James Version. There we go. All right, so let's say we don't want to pay for the program. Our church is on a small budget. What do we do? Well, there is a free option out there. And I have looked this up. It is, as far as I know, um, safe to use. I'm exactly sure how to pronounce the name. Sida, Sija, I think is how we pronounce it. I'm not sure. Forgive me for ruining the name. Here we go. So let's edit a PDF. And it's going to ask us to either find the file or just drag and drop the file. So I have the file right here. And I'm just going to click and drag. And there it is. And you could mess with a bunch of different things up here. Um, but right now, you know, we're just going to mess with the text. I can just click it. And as you can see, the text is going to be kind of broken up. It doesn't do as good of a job as the last one I showed you. So what we can do, we can even trash it. And so it's going to be broken up because uh, the website doesn't find, it's not able to find the font that I used for this. So let's go ahead and get our King James Version reference back. Here we go, King James Version, boom, boom, where are we, there we 
we are. And we're going to paste it. Boom, King James Version. This is unacceptable. This is very garbagey looking. But there's a fix for this. There's a drop down button here under font. We go to font family. There. We change it to whatever we want. It's not going to look like it did originally. We can kind of adjust it. We should be able to adjust it. Can we adjust it, please? Oh, so it seems to give us a bunch of different other texts, text areas, um, text fields. If you just click the text button, what happens if we just delete it? What happens if we just create a new type text field? All right. Now we're on to something. Get out of there. All right. So as you can see, when you hover over it, it'll make this navigation arrow set. All right. So there we have it. The question is, can we do two lines? You might have to just create another line down here. Double click this, copy this, cut, paste. Let's say we want to increase the size right here. We hover over this font size. Just scroll up, maybe 15. Make this 15 as well. I might even have to be a little smaller than that. Say 12. There. All right. So now we have a King James version activity. We just go to apply changes. I'll save it, process it, press download, and I'll download the file. And there we go. And you know, this is just kind of a quick little setup. You can continue to play with it on that website, you know, as much as you want. Um, but easy peasy. We have ourselves a King James version, or again, whatever Bible that your Sunday school is now teaching. So uh, I hope this helped everybody. Uh, thank you and have a blessed day.